Okay, Wheeler and Woolsey, first of all, if you grew up in the New York area, the tri-state area, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, we didn't get Wheeler and Woolsey. They didn't show them. Uh, for some reason, they were not in the packages that uh, they showed in New York. So I didn't even know they existed until 1969 or 1970, when I was like 10 years old, I got uh, Leonard Maltin's movie comedy teams. And I read about them, but I still, I, I, there was no way to see them in New York. So it wasn't until I moved to Los Angeles that uh, I saw them uh, at a revival theater, uh, the Vagabond Theater in LA, the best. It's not there anymore, it's long gone. But it was a packed house, it was their first movie, Rio Rita, and they killed, they absolutely killed. They got screaming laughter, applause after the musical numbers. It was just really great and I became a lifelong fan. Uh, eventually, my friend Woody Wise, who's also my Facebook friend now, uh, back in the early 80s, he had a store and he was selling uh, and renting public domain films uh, on video. And the first uh, two of them that I rented from him were the two um, in public domain, the half a hook, line, and sinker, and half shot at sunrise. And I got to see those, and again, I became a huge fan. I just, I, I fell in love with them, you know, when I was in my 20s. Uh, they came to me late in life, and I think the reason they're not well known is that Robert Woolsey, the one with the glasses, died in 1938. In fact, they, they would talk to people like George Burns, and they didn't even remember him. So I think because he couldn't sustain, they couldn't sustain their career as a team past 1938, I just think they fell out of memory, you know? Burt Wheeler went on to a solo career. Nobody remembered the days when he was with Robert Woolsey. Today is Burt Wheeler's birthday, by the way. He would have been, let's see, 125 years old today, I believe. Yeah, five, yeah, yeah, 125. Um, he was born in Patterson, New Jersey, just like Lou Costello uh, was born 11 years later in the same town. So two great comedians came out of Patterson, New Jersey. Uh, if you love Wheeler and Woolsey, or if you get into Wheeler and Woolsey, um, there was a young actress by the name of Dorothy Lee, who was there, uh, there she made like 11 movies with them, maybe more. Um, and she was also a dear friend of mine. Uh, I loved Dorothy. And you'll love her on screen. She's as cute as a button. She sings, she dances, just great. And uh, they just sort of faded from memory. It's a shame because they're great. But they, are, they did make a comback. Um, when TNT, uh, the, uh, Ted Turner Station, was on back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, he started showing their films again on television. And that's when I really started seeing them all. And... Uh, they're terrific. So now they're back and they have their audience. Some people hate them, some people love them, but I really think they're a lot of fun. See some of their movies, I think you'd like them. Start with Cockeyed Cavaliers, I think that's their best. And then uh, Hip Hip, Hips Hips Hooray, and uh, Diplomaniacs, So This Is Africa, The Nitwits, all of those movies are fun to see. By the way, if you're interested in taking my course online, uh, it's called For the Love of Laughter. And uh, you can find it on this page. Uh, you'll find the link. There's one that goes right to our Kajabi link, or there's one that goes to our YouTube link for the love of laughter. Just click uh, on the uh, link and it'll tell you how to go ahead and get it. It's 15 lessons. They're about 20 minutes each. And you'll learn all about classic film comedy and its history.